everyone who's watching this. This is my first time making a tutorial, so I'm so excited. And I'm going to show you how to make these cute little hamburgers. Aren't they cute? And if you just turn this into a charm, you can just do that, and it's a charm. So, um, you will need... Um, let me... 27 orange, so 27 orange, or it could be beige, um, like for your bun, but I, I'm using orange because I don't have beige, and then you need 10 green, and then you need 10 black. This is for the meat, and the green's for the lettuce. And if you want a cheese sandwich, well, cheeseburger, um, then instead of green, use like yellow or orange. But today I'm going to use lettuce. So we're gonna need one loom and one hook and one C-clip. Doesn't matter how big, we just need some C-clips. I've got tons of packets because I bought all these packets for colors. And now without further ado, let's begin. We're going to use doubles for the whole thing. So from this peg to this peg. And then you're going to take two more, that peg to that peg. Then you go from these pegs to each other. I like to go up, it's easier for me. And you need your arrow facing down, by the way. And then another two bands. I just put some in there. Then take another two bands. And right there. So now we're done with our top bun. Then at this point, you will, if you're me and you want to have lettuce, then you'll be using your green. But if you're making a cheeseburger, you'll be using your yellow. So then you put this band from here to here. Wait, no. You need one more, uh, two more orange and put them in the middle right there. Sorry, I forgot to add that. Then you go down from there to there. Then you need to go here to here. And then down from there, down from there, and these should be your last two green, and then d down. So now you're going to use your black or meat color, and you are going to put it from here to here. It's kind of like a system in this like pattern down into the center peg then grab two more and then them there to there exactly the same as the green so if you're you you're really speedy at putting these on then I suggest you go fast and then I'll meet you at the end of the black. Okay, so we're done with the black. And then we are going to use orange again. So we're going to put it from this peg to this peg. And then from that peg to that peg. 
And we're still using doubles, just making sure you know that. That peg to that peg. And then that peg to that peg. And that peg to that peg. And then we're going to close this off by putting that. Okay, I have two. Then that to there. Then this from here to here. And then this should be your last orange band if you grabbed exactly 27. I may be off in count, just counting while I made one. Um, that's why I have two, because one was my counting burger. Hm. So loop it. You're gonna take one single band. You're going to stretch it out slowly. It increases. Stretch. And we're going to wrap this around four times. So we have one. And then two. And then three. And then four. And then you can let go. And now you're going to grab your hook. And let's start hooking. So first you're going to grab these two bands. Um, you're going to grab the top two bands other than the cap band. So just take those and loop them to the side, right there. So I took two bands that they were right under the cap band and put them in here. And then take the next top two bands other than the cap band. We're never going to hook a cap band in that way. Then you're going to take the last two other than the cap band and oops, put it forward. So then you're going to loop forward and then forward. Okay, so you should have something like this. These two bands are still straight. And then we're going to take top two bands in this peg. And if it helps you, you can go like this. And then, so two, that's two. And then take those, because it's exactly the same as going in the peg. And just take it over to that peg where it came from. Then you're going to take the other oranges in there. And then now you're going to take this black and move it up. Then you can go in either one of these, just pull the black, black band, these two black bands up. So you, you should have like a B right here. And then you're going to take these two or on the other side and put them up. And then you come across this, it's the exact same thing. Take the top two, and now you're going this way. Then you're going to take the next two, hook them that way. So you should have a like U kind of, except it has the middle hooked in. So now you're going to take the green that's in here and loop it forward. Then just take the green on each one and loop it forward. And right now we've done more than half of our hamburger, so we're doing really well. So and then we're going to loop these forward. Then 
we're going to take the top two in that band, then loop it that way like it's always been. Push it down just so you have room in there and it isn't really clustered. So then you hook the last two green bands over there. Now you have the last, the top bun, which is orange for me, but it could be beige for you. You loop that forward, loop this one forward, loop the middle one forward again. So you should have like this, and then bottom two bands, which are orange, up. Then you should have something like this. So you should have like this whole, this whole row filled, this whole row filled, and this whole row filled. And then you have these two bands right here. We're gonna hook those, starting with this side. And we're going to hook it that way. And we're going to hook these bands, hook them that way. And then we finished looping. So now, just take your C-clip. Mine's white, but you can use any C-clip you want. And you just like press it on here. And then press it down all the way to the bottom. And then like do that. And then you want to check on the side, did it grab all of them? Mine did, but if it didn't like hook around all the bands, um, then you should like take the C-clip out and redo it. But since mine's really good, I'm going to take it off. Since I have a metal tipped hook, I'm going to use the back of mine and move it forward. You can do this too, or you can just use your fingers. I am using the back of my hook because it's safer. And then just hook it all the way up to the top. And then I usually do the pin with the C-clip up. I like use my fingers for it. I just take everything off of its pin. Just push it up. And even while you're hooking, you can see your hamburger form. And then just going to pull this off. And then you're gonna like stretch it out a little just to make sure it gets its hamburger form. And there you go, you've got your hamburger. And I kind of have like a hamburger family, like dad, baby, mom. See, kind of like a happy family, happy burger family. And if I copied off of any other like hamburger design, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just making this from my own memory and my own style. So I don't really know if anybody else has this, but if you do, um, I'm sorry and yeah. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a happy hamburger family soon. Thank you.